Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Say Talk. I am Josh Say Talk. With me again, two of my best friends, Brad, so, 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 blah, and Maddie. Yo. Yo. Where I guess we're. It's hard now, all of a sudden. Yeah, since last we're hard. Week, yeah, we got hard. hard. We got yeah. super hard. Hardened up. Yeah. Like really I, hard. I gained street cred. I gave a hand job to a black dude in an alley. Nice. That gives it to you. Yeah, yeah street cred. Especially hard. Uh, hard. So, so much to talk about. First of all, happy Canada Day. Although, by the time you guys hear this, it'll be three days after Canada Day. Two days after Canada Day. So, happy Canada Day to all the Canadians. And fuck you to everyone else. <laughs> Fair enough. So, Chris Hansen has an arrest warrant out for his arrest. Oh, Do you know oh, who Chris Hansen yeah, is? Yeah, yeah. The catch to predator guy? Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, for larceny from like 2017 or something? Wow. What's larceny? Oh, like larceny. embezzlement? Like yeah, something money related, something right? Like yeah, that. something like that. Right. Yeah. So guess who I've hired to find Chris Hansen? A pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> I found like the, he was he's really he's not the nicest person he's like a, a, <laughs> he's a deep pedophile, pedophile. like wow. when I oh. walked in he was six inches deep in a baby and I was just like, oh. Oh, you're the one go find him and he went okay there and he went and he's gonna go he's gonna go find Chris Hansen yeah. wow. who do you hire to find the world's best pedophile hunter but a pedophile <laughs> <laughs> doesn't it make sense that makes sense. I don't know. And Shouldn't is, you just be doing the pedophilia and then Chris right. Chris Hansen will arrive? I, if it was going to be Chris Hansen's got it because I was an arrest warrant out for him, tell me he fucked a kid. Please, God, tell me he fucked a kid. For child porn, for fucking a minor, for anything like Something, that. Yeah. Nope. Larceny. So white of you, Chris yeah. Hansen. Yeah. <laughs> so white of you. Yeah. He'll get off. You're above He'll that, Christopher. Uh, He'll get off. Yeah, and hopefully, uh, hopefully, um, what's a good pedophile? That depends Dick, on Chris Dick Hansen. Hunter. <laughs> Dick Hunter. Yeah, Chris Hansen. Yeah, Chris Hansen. Chris Hansen. Yeah. Chris, Hansen. Yeah. Chris Hansen. Hopefully the pedophile I hired finds you, Chris. Um, it's not good to evade the law. <laughs> uh, do you have any idea how many fucking weekends you ruined? These pedophiles were so stoked to get some fucking pussy, some young Gina. And uh, <laughs> nope. Uh, sir, uh, you have uh, duct tape, lube, an AK-47 with 15 clips. Um... Like, uh, like a branding iron for cows. Like, what were you planning on doing this weekend? Oh, I didn't know that she was only 13. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, it says yeah. here that you want to brand her and fuck her brains out, her little young pussy. Says, I didn't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, guess what, Chris? We're coming for you. <laughs> Got our guy. So speaking of pedophiles, not really, I was watching the movie Desperado. <laughs> Yeah, okay. It has nothing to do with pedophilia. With uh, Antonio Banderas? Yeah. yeah. Antonio Banderas? It's like completely against pedophilia. He probably has nothing to do with it. Although he was in a, in a kid's movie and he played Boos in Boots. Um, that's true. In yeah. Shrek, I think. In Shrek, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Shrek, yeah, Shrek. yeah that's right. Yeah. Uh, I was watching Desperado and he just got out of a huge bar brawl. He got shot multiple times, stabbed. Like bottles broken over his head, they managed to escape and uh, Selma High, Selma High, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who, and you see her, yeah, not bad, pretty good, uh, pretty good, pretty good uh, back in the day. She like bandages him up and like she fixes him and literally, post bar brawl, multiple gunshot wounds, stab wounds, just patched up into. Instant smash. <laughs> Hard intercourse. Yeah, like yeah, deep yeah. sex scene. It was pretty hot, man. Like backwards, like cowgirl, reverse cowgirl. Like it was pretty deep. And I was, I had to pause. I was laughing so hard. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. There have been times where I'm uh, sans gunshot wound. <laughs> I have not been in a Mexican bar brawl. And I still can't get hard and perform properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This motherfucker is just dick of steel. As he's taking the bullets, mm, I'm already an addict. <laughs> My dick is always an addict to fuck. <laughs> I just got stabbed right in my penis. Like, what the fuck? There have been times with consenting, uh, consenting women where I just haven't gotten stabbed and shot. And I can't fuck properly. So, Antonio Banderas. He's a legend. Fucking. Yeah. yeah good bravo, job. amigo. Good job, man. Your, your dick is better than I could ever be. He probably made it better because it was like way too hard before. She's yeah, like, oh, yeah. Antonio, it's your hurting. dick is too hard. I have to stab you to lower the blood flow. And you, you 
are correct, Selma. My it's beak true. is like Thor's hammer, the Mjolnir. <laughs> I need to take at least three gunshot wounds to the chest before I can fuck a pussy. Oh, or I will explode her. Me and Terry Crews are best friends. Um, yeah, he's like yeah. The, the Spanish Terry Crews. King Cock. Fucking... <laughs> Antonio Banderas, <laughs> desperado. Because when I don't get stabbed first, her pussy is muy desperado. Because I have raped it in two. There, there used to be two lips. By the time I am done, there are four lips. I take her pussy and I fuck it hard. <laughs> okay, now I am ready to fuck. <laughs> my dick is not quite as hard because of the multiple gunshot wounds to my chest. <laughs> And who fixes them? Does she like? She's like, yeah, and she's doing like, and she's padding it with like gauze. The old gauze pad. Okay, now my wound is better, and I'm ready to wound you with my big hard cock. <laughs> Do you think this is a big wound? Just wait until I finish. I'm going to start with your belly button, and I'm going to turn it into a muy gina. Big fat cock I have. <laughs> Hey, Tony, if you're yeah, listening, he, give us a shout-out. Say talk podcast. Yeah, yeah, he would actually is, we're want to you up. come on. Pete Davidson yeah. with your little weird anemic dick. <laughs> Fuck you, Pete! <laughs> Fuck you! Elliot Page is a bigger dick than you, you fucking loser. It's true, though. Elliot, if you're listening, happy Pride Month. <laughs> yeah. No, it's over. It's done. It's sorry, over. sorry. Put it's your okay. Put it's your dick. Put your tits probably. back, Elliot. You look ridiculous. Pride happy Canada Day, Day Elliot. Happy Canada Day, guys. Yeah, happy Elliot's Canada a Canadian. Yeah. Oh, or hey, she is. She yeah. is. She yeah. is. Sorry, I'm still getting used to it. They are. <laughs> <laughs> Desperado. Yeah. That's what the girls' pussy sing. Yeah. After, yeah. Yeah. After, 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 after Antonio. After Antonio. <laughs> it's singing. After, after Antonio it's Banderas singing. fucks the shit out of you, your queefs go, Desperado. <laughs> why don't you. Uh, that's how Hardy fucks you. Makes they're, sense. They, they're now sopranos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, we're right. Oh, man, um, that's good. Yeah, shot and stab, bandages him up with the gauze, the gauze tap, and he's fine, he's ready to fuck. Man, I stubbed my toe. Lost, <laughs> lost a week of my life. For a month. Masturbating wasn't even a thing in my mind. I was like, are you kidding me? Anytime I stood up, my throat, my toe throbbed. Like, you know, and like, ah, fuck that. Um... Post shooting. I don't know. That looks like way worse than it. Try it, yeah, guys. Yeah, try yeah, it. Yeah. Try yeah. it. Your Stub your toe looks, and try yeah, to jerk off. Okay. Brutal. I yeah. think he got shot with a shotgun in the chest. <laughs> <laughs> and this guy's hard to fucking. Him the sexy. <laughs> sexy. Everywhere. Do you think I'm afraid of a little shotgun blast to the chest? <laughs> I am not a maricon. I have a big heart that I've smashed tables with my teeth. I want to see Antonio Banderas and Terry Crews. Dick wrestle. Dick war. But not Antonio, <laughs> not Antonio Banderas now, like Desperado Antonio oh, Banderas. Because now he's like Pablo Picasso, Antonio Banderas. Nobody wants wow. that dick. Um, I'm sure it's still I'd pretty still good. fuck him, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he still fucks. That's the plot for uh, Mask stabs, of Zorro, yeah. too. Mask of Zorro, he just writes it in <laughs> yeah, yeah, stone yeah. with his dick? Yeah, yeah. Did he just carve that with his dick? That's granite. <laughs> this guy's got a oh, dick of movie. steel. What a movie that would be. The Mask of Zorro, too. It's like a weird porn. Keep, keep your wife away from me. Great segue. Speaking of porn, so I saw one recently where it was, uh, and it's good to see my mom's doing okay. Uh, the chick was getting fucked in the ass with the, the uh, large side of a baseball bat. Oh, like an no. Amish person churning oh, wow. butter. Like they were literally churning, churning butter, butter inside this woman. Oh, so my question is, how do you go from that to Thanksgiving dinner with the family. Oh, yeah. Where's the, what's the kind of, like, what are, what are de-hazmat, about? like, spray process that goes from that to, like, brunch with Bubby and Zadie. <laughs> <laughs> I brought butter. No, no butter. No butter, sweetie. Want to play baseball? Speaking of people who need to be baseball batted to death, <laughs> <laughs> or hung at Young and Banda Square, after a blow dart. <laughs> After a fuck. <five. laughs> it was the... How many... Okay, so before I get to that, I'm sorry. So I have this piece of shit loser friend. I don't even remember who it was. An acquaintance on Facebook that post, posted... I get, I, get, I get you guys have nothing else. The cool, the vaccine posts, the pictures. You don't... It doesn't work until you post a picture of yourself with this stupid little... F- like your little foreskin band-aid, the little circle. It's like the bunion band-aid over yeah, your arm. Yeah, like yeah. that fucking stupid thing. Uh-huh. 
super vaxxed was a hashtag I saw. Super vaxxed. Super vaxxed. Super vaxxed. Wow. Hashtag super vaxxed. Can't wait to get back to all the pattying and all the hugsings and all the traveling. Hashtag super vaxxed. <laughs> um, I hope all the vaxes inside you fight and you explode. <laughs> um, What's super vaxxed anyways? Super vaxxed is the Terry Crews, I thought. Yeah. I, thought, yeah. I was like, wow, that's the one that I'm looking for. Where did you find him? And she was like, what? And I was like, I think we're talking about different things. <laughs> super vaxxed <laughs> means... Um, that you got both. Uh, yes. Got two shots. And then afterwards, uh, I think you have to smoke crack. <laughs> um, super vaxxed. Uh, it's not... You're not super vaxxed! Um, I hope kryptonite kills you then. I hope you drive past a truck full of kryptonite and you explode. Uh, I wonder who started that one. Bill Gates wins. Super vax. <clears throat> so don't, just stop posting about your vaxes. Nobody cares. Yeah. Really. I hope your arm hurts because your husband jabs it. The other arm. He punches you really hard. <laughs> Fucking jabs. Stop talking about your jabs. Yeah, it's normal to ask now. It's like a thing. Oh, which, really? which jab did you get? I got the domestic violence jab. <laughs> <laughs> which jab did you get? My buddy at work who's against... Antonio Banderas fucked me really hard. <laughs> Repeatedly. My buddy at work, he's like heavily against it. And uh, he just, when people ask him, he just says like, oh, my doctor like said not to get it. Right? And people leave him alone. It's right. like a new thing that he just like came up with. I've started telling people when people ask me, uh, oh, are you, are you vaxxed yet? Are you super vaxxed? Can you fly? Can you fly it with your super vax? Is your super vax working? Can you see through women's clothing? Is your super... Huh? Uh, so I told you, I'm going to start asking people, oh, how was your last pap smear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Uh, what, excuse me? What? I don't know why it's a dude. I'm asking these questions. Yeah. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> oh, sorry, Elliot. Fuck, I fucked up. Um, Any chance you have herpes? To trans women? Yeah. Yeah. So when was the last time you contracted a sexually transmitted disease? Excuse me? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. You don't want me to ask me medical questions? Perfect. Fuck off. Yeah, yeah, exactly. uh, so if you have people going, oh, obviously you guys, uh, obviously, because I'm an epidemiologist. <laughs> <laughs> obviously you guys are both vaxxed to me and my coworker or whatever. And uh, I won't say his name, but him and I will look at each other and just go, oh yeah, we're super vaxxed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super vaxxed. What does that mean? It means that I just put my legs behind my head and the nurse just fucked me in the ass. Oh, wow. Um, so you're vaccinated? No, no, no. Turns out I'm a homosexual. <laughs> Super vaxxed. And I might potentially have AIDS. <laughs> um, no, you'll be okay. So, speaking of jabbing people in the face, uh, <laughs> this white British person. A wanker. Uh, a wanker. A wanker. A proper chav who now identifies as a non binary Korean. <laughs> Perfect. Have you seen this thing? Non binary Korean. Yeah, honestly, oh. it looks. More like one of the Kardashians than one of the Koreans. <laughs> it just looks like a big inflated lip lunatic. Um, but yeah, this uh, this thing. Yeah. Um, That's called somebody with a mental disability. That's mental better. disability. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we shouldn't be glorifying that. He better as long as he starts going. Uh, I am from a Korea, uh, and I hope he gets jabbed. Um, that non-binary Korean. Why non-binary too? Yeah, like pick a side. At yeah, least, like, pick one. So speaking of transracial. Offend, speaking of offending women, songs that wouldn't work anymore. Move, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Get out the way. <laughs> I mean, in all fairness, she had a big fat ass in his way. Um, also, speaking of uh, jabbing women. These hoes ain't loyal. Well, Christopher, I'm not a sociologist, but maybe if you stopped calling them hoes and stopped punching them against their will, um, they would be more loyal to you. Um, potentially. Speaking about, uh, of punching women against their will with his fingers, uh, Bill Cosby! Uh, Jello, the remix. <laughs> Back on the streets. Yeah. 
It's fucking oh. awesome. Yeah, that is good. He's so the name of this good. episode is going to be called "Do They Serve Jello in Hell?" <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. Um, yes, the cherry in the pudding pop. My pudding in the mood. I really don't know who Bill Cosby is very well, or what he sounds like. No. I know uh, the premise behind him. Um, I know he liked to get knuckle deep. Um, <laughs> That's a strange. Thing. He was really, he really um, <laughs> loves to go. Uh, so he was like a finger rapist. Yeah, he just fingered them a little bit. <laughs> really. So I came up with a solution for Bill, which I think is genius. Instead of drugging women and fingering them against their will. Narcoleptics, bro. <laughs> you just go on a date with a narcoleptic and you just find just your window. Eventually, she just. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's just, like, oh, I'm going in! <laughs> you finger the shit out of her. And, it's such uh, a weird thing to do. Yeah, just finger just, someone? Yeah, just finger yeah. them. Yeah. yeah. Like, get them knocked out and finger them? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to knock you out. I don't. I sound like a, 19, like a 1900 <laughs> slave <laughs> owner. I don't know. <laughs> Plantation, and a rapper. plantation worker. And Ooh, a rapper. I'm gonna knock you out, damn boy. <laughs> That's not at all how Bill Cosby sounds. That's mildly racist, Josh, on my bit. part. Ooh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Getting Ooh. further from it. Um, <laughs> the jellos and the things is. <laughs> I'm losing it. Um, I do do a great. Bounce posy. Oh, yeah. Ah, don't get the vaccine. <laughs> it thinks you British. Uh, yeah, so Bill Cosby uh, liked to finger women against their will while they were sleeping. So my solution is just narcoleptics, man. Pick your battles. They're yeah, doing yeah, they're doing half the work for you. That's his soul. All you need is a hand. <laughs> his soulmate is a narcoleptic. Yeah. yeah. She's like, I just passed out for hours at a time, and my vagina has no nerve endings. <laughs> you, can just, you can just finger the shit out of me. I love it. He's like, I'm going to marry her. <laughs> it's actually a dude in prison. He's, he's lost it completely. Um, I hope someone... Fingered him against his will in prison. <laughs> no jello. I hope him and Chris Hansen sh- share a cell <laughs> with a pedophile, and the pedophile just fingers the shit of them. By the way, Trinidad, the country, mm-hmm. has been canceled. Don't know if you guys have heard about this. Oh. Oh. Probably not because I'm currently making it up. Because <laughs> uh, <laughs> of the dad part? Yeah. Yeah, I'm on to you. I'm Trinidad to you. has been cancelled because it triggers widows and single parents. <laughs> uh. You also can't call it Tobago, Trinidad and Tobago anymore because it triggers ex-smokers. <laughs> uh, sounds like tobacco. Yeah. Trinidad and Tobago. So now it's called Trinidad and <laughs> and yeah, it was a Trinidad joke. Okay, one Trinidad. clean Trinidad joke. I mean, I was like, but I came over with fucking Trinidad. Joke. Yeah, they'll, they'll like it. And I'm not even from the West Indies, man. Yeah, they'll all like it. That was my Bill Cosby impression. Yeah, <laughs> that was the closest to Bill Cosby I've said it all. Yeah, that was really good. The other one does sound just like a straight up slave. No, That's what? Me. Oh, what you talking about? I brought Jello. Ooh, there's little pieces of fruit in it too. <laughs> so it's actually Evan Page's titties all cut up into little pieces. <laughs> oh, was that? It's gelatin. Gelatin. <laughs> That's real gelatin. Jesus. Um, gelatin. Jolatin. So, okay, so I get the I get this. Uh, okay, my one clean joke. <laughs> <laughs> my one clean joke. Okay, why did the vampire get a COVID test? Was it because he kept coughing. Oh, okay. Coughing. All right. Yeah. 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 It's all right. Yeah. All right. No, stick to the dirty ones. Okay. Yeah. So you, you found your thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, into the forest. Okay, so I'll do this. Anti-Semitism is uh, rampant in Canada right now. And as a Jew, I'm not going to lie, anytime I see a Hasidic Jew, I want to beat you up. (laughs) You look fucking ridiculous. This was from 4,000 years ago. Uh, None of the rules make any sense. You look ridiculous. If you dress like a Hasidic Jew, you kind of deserve to be beaten up. I'm not going to (laughs) lie. As a Jew. As a Jew. I live in Israel. I speak Hebrew. Uh, I once, uh, I'm circumcised twice. Uh, I recently, I recently lost 15 pounds. Finally got circumcised. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I have a small dick. I'm kidding. Child, I'm kidding. Stop saying that. <laughs> is that, 
if a pedophile says I'm kidding, do they get like a, like an electric shock? Is that like is that like the trying to? <laughs> oh, they're trying to like snap out of it. Yeah, the I'm kidding. Stop saying that. Yeah. God, I'm a comedian and I fuck kids. It's gonna be so hard to say. I'm <laughs> stop kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, that wasn't autobiographical. Autobi- autobiographical. No, no. We'll see. It was a, it was we'll see. Crystalia. Yeah, Crystalia. We'll see. Um, Crystalia. Yeah, Hasidic <laughs> Jews. You guys look ridiculous, and uh, uh, you make us look silly. Uh, Into the Forest, starring my boy Ellen Page. Okay. Your girl. To all of our our followers out there, our naysayers. I'm still trying to think of like a catchy say talk naysayer. Yeah. That's kind of gay. Yeah. I don't like that. We'll to so all of our gargsers out there. Yeah, gargsers. Yeah. Yeah. Our fellow gargsers. Gargsers. Yeah, gargsers. Yeah. Um, to all of our gargsers, our gargs fans, uh, gar, 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 uh, to all the gargsers out there, if you would like to see Ellen Page's tits 40 minutes and 52 seconds into the movie, Into the Forest on Netflix, Ellen Page is in a sex scene with a dude, and I'm not going to lie, it wasn't the worst thing I've ever seen. Uh, you see Ellen Page's tits. And I had to pause from the hysterical laughter emanating from my face for some reason. Because, first of all, the actor in it, I'm like, what is this guy thinking now? That he technically had a gay love scene in a movie. It just happened to be with a dude with tits at the time. Based on what Ellen Page is saying, she's yeah. always identified as a guy. So she's like, I'm a guy f- f- making out with this guy. And he's like, I get to touch this really manly woman's tits. <laughs> and she really now manly? she's a man. In she's kind movie? of yeah, she's yeah. kind of dykey. Like she's always been kind of the tomboy yeah, thing, you know. Has, yeah. But don't get me wrong, Elliot, I would have sucked on them them them. Oh, I would have sucked on them titties there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ellen knows with some nice man titties. <laughs> uh, they go great with my cherry jello. Uh, <laughs> No, uh, you do have some nice chesticles, Ellen, Elliot. Uh, and so it was very, very bizarre to see them, though. Because, first of all, I would assume that someone who's struggled his whole life with gender confusion and shit like that wouldn't necessarily put themselves in a situation where they would be exposing themselves like that. Like, that's obviously, she got an extra decimal on her paycheck. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, Ellen Pages. So I did a, I did a, <laughs> I paused my TV. And I pulled up the page of Elliot Page, and I jerked off to both sets of tits. Uh, it was incredibly confusing, <laughs> and my, I didn't even come. My dick, and my wow. dick just threw up. It was yeah, just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I finished. Um, <laughs> so thank you for like the, the before and after, Ellen and Elliot. Both and, of you. Uh, both of you. Yeah, man. I'm not gonna lie. It was kind of a hot sex scene, Ellen. So <laughs> and you leveled it up. Good on you. Leveled it up with the balance of it. The balance, With yeah. the, the other, yeah. Good for you. It turns out it was just a picture of Justin Bieber topless. <laughs> 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 yeah, but I still came. <laughs> Good for you. Um, so did you guys watch the Lamar Odom-Aaron Carter fight? Uh, no. I, s- I heard about it. Did you see this? Isn't um, Lamar Odom's a former basketball player. He's much older than Aaron, Aaron Carter's a current meth addict. <laughs> 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 the Lamar Odom Aaron Carter fight was like me fighting a nine-year-old indigenous girl. Like it was, <laughs> she had no chance. Like he, Lamar Odom was like, he's going pretty soft on him. Aaron Carter was like a little scrappy, but Lamar Odom's like a six-foot-six black dude. Aaron Carter's yeah. Aaron Carter. Um, yeah, it was awesome. That was a weird uh, fight. It was a weird fight. Um, I wish that the Mayweather fight was a little bit better. Uh, Who did he fight again? Logan Paul. Oh, Logan really? Paul. That like, happened. It did, and, and it was the weakest fight ever. No, they they were just. It was for the money. Yeah, Neither of them really yeah. tried. Yeah. Uh, I said Lamar Odom could have won using his dick. <laughs> 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 he could. He could have just. Dick to Aaron Carter. <laughs> and Nick could have Carter That's a been on review. The, that's what I want yeah, to see. Yeah. Terry Crews and uh, Antonio Banderas <laughs> is the, the, is the headline fighting. of the fight. Yeah. <laughs> what a fight. And that I'm was. Conor McGregor. I'm going to fight Dustin fucking Poirier with me fucking dick. Uh, everyone's like, uh, has anybody noticed that UFC is kind of gay all of a sudden? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Quite. Turns out I'm just watching Pornhub. Your dicks are always just coming out. Speaking of Pornhub. I wouldn't, I wouldn't fuck Demi Lovato with Elliot Page's dick. <laughs> Makes sense. Okay, there you go. <laughs> oh, 
speaking of uh, pedophiles, <laughs> Kid Rock, loose segue. Speaking of pet kid. Oh, I yeah. got you. Okay. I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah, fuck. <laughs> Um, Kid uh, Rock <laughs> is in hot water right now uh, for using a homophobic slur in a video. Did you uh, guys see this on like TMZ? No, no. Good. It's a good thing you guys don't watch TMZ. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, yeah. You could yeah. be like, yeah, I heard about it. Next. <laughs> like, well, I guess I got the podcast. No, it's good. We're like unknowing a yeah, lot. Yeah, we're unknowing a lot, a lot of this. Yeah. That's the Pop best culture. thing. Yeah. Who needs the Pythagorean theorem, kids? <laughs> yeah. So Kid Rock's in hot water because uh, he used a homopho- homophobic slur on stage. And my response to that is, what? You mean this white trash redneck piece of shit? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't like LGBT community? <laughs> I am shocked. What did he say? Um, he said f- faggot. He said the F word. Okay. But like, 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 not the real one. Like the one, like a bundle of sticks. Oh, yeah. yes. yes. Bundle of sticks, and there were just a bunch of dudes smashing dicks together, and he was like, "This is so accurate." <laughs> That's um, pretty gay. Yeah. Maybe he was like making a fire on stage. No, you know, like, something yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Was, like, I mean, they misinterpreted it. <laughs> oh, I sound, almost sounded like the plantation guy again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're such a... Hey, listen over there, you bundle of fucking sticks. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't, have, doesn't have the same punch. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, what are you doing over there? Fucking bundle of sticks. <laughs> <laughs> Started sounding gay. Sorry, what was I talking about? I forgot. Faggot? I forgot? Uh, yeah, fuck you. Anyways, yeah, Kid Rock, you're a racist piece of shit. You look like a racist piece of shit. He no, not like, racist. He homo- looks like he's homo- homophobic. homophobic. Oh, right. No, well, uh, well, Probably racist. Racist. Yeah. Yeah. Racist, yeah. racist. Yeah, racist too. Yeah, it's racist. true. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. And he followed up with a hard gur, like a hard N word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With yeah. an ER, like uh, not George Clooney ER, <laughs> like Kid Rock <laughs> ER. Um, Kid Rock doesn't even use bed sheets except on his head. Like her pillowcases. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah. Only owns so <laughs> all his pillowcases have holes in them. <laughs> um, <laughs> Pointy pillowcases. And it's not a Jew. They're not using it to have sex with. Oh, have sex with because yeah. Hasidic Jews have to have sex through a sheet. And you guys look ridiculous. And I want to punch you. That's so stupid. Yeah, because it's like so um, and Jews can only have sex to procreate, which is why uh, Hasidic and Orthodox <laughs> Jewish families have like six kids because it's just like hey, Irma, mm, you know, yeah, I'm feeling. Pretty frisky. Mm, it is my birthday, and she's like, "Shut up, Ira! I'm watching fucking Desperado." <laughs> it's the same. No wonder. <laughs> Shut up, Ira! I'm fisting myself to the sex scene in Desperado. I hate you, Irma. So they can only have sex to have children. Just appropriate. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, just man. appropriate. Yeah. Interesting. So if I ever marry an Orthodox Jewish woman, I'm not going to have a sectomy for us and just be like, I don't know. It's not working. Let's keep <laughs> yeah. trying. You get extra Jewish. I'm also fucking her in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a dude. <laughs> and he's black. <laughs> Turns out I'm a homosexual, Irma. I'm cheating on you. I'm shut up, Ira. <laughs> Antonio I'm watching the Lamar Odom fight. He's beating this poor white guy with his cock. Oh, she watches. I would pay for it's view all, it's all. to see that. I would. I would. Lamar Odom just no, two guys. You get, you both get them hard. You give them like two Viagras, and uh, and they just go and they smack dicks until one breaks. Um, oh, wow. You know, Dennis Rodman, he'd do that. Dennis Rodman, he'd win. Yeah, him and Lamar Odom, perfect. Terry Crews. Antonio, Antonio Vendors is like, sit down, Selma. I have got these. <laughs> it's just like a pump. <laughs> okay, I'm ready to fuck now. Um, <laughs> so, homeless people must think that we are insane, white people, essentially, for camping. <laughs> <laughs> Homeless people must think we're lunatics. I went camping, and you bring all of the shit that you can from your place to pay to live like you're homeless. What an insane concept. Homeless people are like, Ooh, I'm camping every night, man! (laughs) (laughs) 
I love camping. I'm not homeless. I'm just a camping enthusiast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a great outdoorsman. I'm an You're urban. underneath the fucking DVP. Yeah, fucking yeah. <laughs> it's urban camping. More urban. <laughs> urban camping. Ooh. That, no, I'm getting closer to my fucking... Yeah, you're going back <laughs> into yeah. slave mode. Slave or... Uh, <laughs> slave or... I don't know. Nope. That's closer cerebral to my Bell's palsy. palsy. That was oh, full Bell's cerebral. Palsy, sorry. Cerebral. That was full cerebral. Yeah. Um, I'm going to offend people with cerebral palsy. Okay. Speaking of uh, mentally handicapped... <laughs> <laughs> nah, wait for it. Two women from Bristol, not bored, uh, Bristol, England, mm-hmm. have created <laughs> the Pequel. Have you seen the Pequel? The Pequel? What? No. It's a urinal for women. No. Okay. Like, I would have called it the Shequel. Okay. But P. Yeah. Or Shequel would be better. Yeah. Golden. Sh- <laughs> Golden Girls. <laughs> <laughs> Golden Girls is good. Golden Girls is the people. You can take it over, man. So it's, it's a urinal. Mainstream. It's a urinal for women. Yeah. It's six times quicker than the conventional toilet for women, and uh, they introduce it at different. No, uh, that's way too fast. Music festivals. Yeah, because the women just go. Because <clears throat> uh, the. So what the, do they do? They like. You, it's like you squat over it, <clears throat> and it's like excuse me, and it's like ergonomically shaped. Mm. Uh, it tastes like blood and Vaseline. What did you guys do to me? <laughs> uh, it's like ergonomically shaped for, shaped for uh, their big English cunts. And, um, <laughs> and they, uh, uh, literally, because they are large women too, uh, and they, uh, they pee. It's for like festivals, because if you've ever been to a, a fucking like, a concert or whatever, the men's bathroom, it's incredible. It's, uh, oh, at the beaches even. Uh, the men's bathroom, it took like 40 seconds to get in. The women's bathroom, it's like a Rolling Stones concert. There's 8,000 people. I don't, you guys can't all be in sync at the same fucking time, ladies, and have to change yeah. your, your tampons. Like, <laughs> how is there... You guys pee like racehorses, and it takes you forever. So these ladies from Bristol, Bristol have made the Pequel, or the uh, Golden Girls, as I call it. They'd be called the Golden Girls. Making, they made the Pequel. Their company should be called the Golden Girls Enterprises. And they made the Pequel. They made... Ladies, I'm giving you fucking gold here. Ha! Uh, don't pee on me. <laughs> uh, sponsored by R. Kelly. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> And uh, he sends quicker. It's like Dragon's Den. He's all. It's like Dragon's Den, yeah. Yeah, he's just the whole way. What? Bounce, bounce, uh, bounce, bounce. Pee on me. He saves. And R. Kelly saves the pee and drinks it. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god. It's a lot of pee. So much pee. Uh, speaking of pissing all over the world, uh, Jeff Bezos and his brother Mark will go to space July 20th. That soon? Looks like what I based on what I wrote, twenty twenty one. They're not. Uh, Fifteen days after he resigns as CEO, he would be the first of the billionaire tycoons to go to space. New Shepard is the name of the shuttle. Blue Origin is the name of the company. He also owns MGM uh, casinos and entertainment, oh, wow. which I didn't know, which is pretty cool. Oh, he's yeah. doing pretty well. So very rich. Going to space. That's I guess when you know you've made it. When that's even an option. Yeah. Going to space. Um, so obviously everyone hopes that his shuttle explodes. Yeah, yeah totally. Right? Yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely. Ooh, what if he does some sort of like fake his death thing where the shuttle explodes and everyone's like, no, Jeffrey! His mom would say, I guess, if she's alive. I don't know. <laughs> she probably hates him. Uh, she's like, yeah. yes! I mean, Jeffrey! <laughs> I'm in, I'm in the will. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. <laughs> Got money on my mind. Um, but then he's yeah. fine. But then he's like, fine, he escapes. Uh, so the shuttle looks like the shuttle the, uh, escape module is uh, landing safely <laughs> in the Pacific. Fuck! Fuck this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, going to space. That's crazy. I got to do three hits of acid to go to space. Yeah, yeah. This guy's just like, I'll just throw money at it. I don't know why he's British. I don't know what he sounds like. It's like Dr. Um, Evil, kind of. Speak- yeah, he's Dr. Evil. I, listen, Mark, my brother, we are going to go to space. <laughs> That's pretty much it. July 20th, 2021. <laughs> and we're going to bury a bunch of indigenous kids in Canada Whoa. and really, <laughs> really, really confuse them. <laughs> oh, man. 
uh, too soon is what her his brother said. So he launched his escape pod out <laughs> and, and <laughs> yeah. the fucking ether. And he's dead. And, uh, and stop killing indigenous kids. No. No, Canada. <laughs> I'm not even Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, if I was an indigenous and I had a kid and he was like, I want to kill your kid, I'd be like, it's going to piss some people off. It is my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> I've never really met an indigenous person before because they're all buried under schools. I mean, <laughs> Jesus, Jeffrey. Wow. Jesus, cross so money. Jesus can't even save the indigenous kids, apparently, because it was Catholic schools, right? They got killed. But I mean, if I'm going to go out, they got killed. if I'm a little indigenous boy or girl, honestly, send Cosby my way. At least knock me out and finger me quickly. Like, <laughs> if I'm going to die anyways, like, send me a Cosby. Send me an R. Kelly. Let me piss on me. Um, <laughs> there's no go. AC. At least warm me up for a second before you bury me. Rich pedophiles. That's what we're looking for. I apologize for that segue, that segment. That wasn't fair. Happy Canada Day. Don't kill indigenous kids. It's not nice. Hey! No! <laughs> Unless you're a billionaire, in which case you can send a fleet of indigenous kids to space and then just be like, okay, now we're going to uh, experiment and then just open all the windows and they just... <laughs> and they all just he's like, okay. And he's jerking off the whole time. Yeah, that was great. That's how I come. And he's watching one monitor, one monitor, one monitor is a spaceship full of 215 indigenous kids that he just swallows into space, and the other one is playing Desperado, and it's a sex scene. <laughs> this is how I come. It's very niche, but I'm rich. Now he's really tough all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely not. I'm Jeff Bezos. I only come to Desperado and indigenous kids dying. In I'm space. Jeff Bezos in space. On land? No. What am I, a monster? Send them to space. I mean, at least they got to travel first. That's true. Yeah, right? exactly. But Cosby's on there fingering them. Just, oh, no, wake up. <laughs> mm, sleep well. <laughs> Don't ever go to Bill Cosby's place for a sleepover. Yeah, slumber parties are yeah, the worst. Yeah, it's not good. I didn't slumber at all. And my pussy hurts. Oh, God. 75 women testified against him. Oh, wow. Three years this guy got off. He got released from prison because apparently... The prosecutor made a pact or an agreement, uh, like a non or a binding verbal whatever contract that he couldn't prosecute for these charges or whatever, and the prosecution still went through, and he got... So now after three years, this guy's released. You know what I think? At least chop off the tips of all of his fingers. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Just so at least... No, because then it will make it stubby. He's still hurt finger more. then. Yeah. Oh, I still got the tips! <laughs> still, he saves the tips, and he wears a necklace. He takes his necklace off and just... <laughs> the, neck, the necklace tip, Jesus. Um, necklace hey, tip. don't don't make fun of or hurt indigenous people or kids, and don't finger people when they're sleeping, unless they're narcoleptic or they're really asking for it. <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, <laughs> apparently, uh, NHL players are allowed to cross the Canada-U.S. border without having to quarantine for two weeks uh, for like the finals or whatever. Um, which is obviously a great statement to the priorities in our country uh, that things that people do for a hobby are idolized. Um, but I can't even finger an indigenous kid <laughs> without <laughs> catching a charge. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I lost my train of Josh halfway through that. I wrote this a while ago. Um, they'll be testing shit. Yeah, great to see where I put sports are not essential. Yeah, baseball stadiums. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. Here's a good one. People are protesting on Twitter, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Follow us on Twitter uh, at Say Talk Podcast. Is that a thing, right? That's yeah, 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 yeah. At Say Talk Podcast. Yeah, I have, five, I have five followers. Um, it's good. It's good None story. of them are transgender or indigenous. Uh, <laughs> what? Or, or Elliot Page. <laughs> or Elliot Page. So I could use a couple more. Uh, <laughs> uh, people are complaining at Shoppers Drug Mart about the self checkout machines. I got in a Twitter battle with this fucktard about the self checkout machine. What? Because unless you have cash, certain Shoppers Drug Marts won't let you see a teller. You have to use the self checkout machine. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah. these people were like, uh, you know, the nerve of them or blah, 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 whatever. And then the machine has the nerve to ask me how we did today. You mean how I did today? 
like, did you blow the machine? Like, did you pleasure <laughs> it? Like, you did all you did was, and people were going off about how it's uh, they're taking jobs, taking good jobs f- from the scientists that stock shelves at Shoppers Drug Mart. Like, they're not <laughs> like these. Uh, they're not taking jobs. They're trying to limit the amount of contacts so that they can these people won't get COVID and get sick. Is what they're doing. Uh, but people were like losing it on about the self checkout machines. Uh, and I was like, if this is your biggest concern in life, you should fucking kill yourself. Agreed. Um, and I hope a robot administers your jab. <laughs> and I hope it's, uh, I hope your Desperado movie cuts out the sex scene because you're watching <laughs> it on TV. And without that sex scene, man, honestly, it's not a very watchable movie. <laughs> if I didn't get fucking, like, if I didn't get like 14 minutes of great podcast material from that yeah, post. Yeah, yeah. Mortal wound sex scene. Yeah. <laughs> Mortally wounded. Why did Mortally she do that? Why would she? Like she no, but she wait. had magic she gauze. She oh, had yeah, magic right. gauze. A little gauze for him. A little yeah. gauze tap, and he's all healed up apparently. And then even instant it would, smash. It'd be kind of funny if he died like a week later. Or something. Yeah, from <laughs> sepsis. <laughs> of course. Yeah. He's Some like, at least, not a can you at least pour? So you're obviously certified in first aid and CPR. She's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, do you want me to pour some rubbing alcohol on that? And he's like, no, just a God's tap for me. <laughs> I will let God do the rest. <laughs> just a quick God's she tap. She should have poured some booze on it. Booze something. on it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, pour the booze in here. Yeah, yeah. And put your finger my I want you to finger my wound. <laughs> you finger me, then I finger you. Uh, so but I will not drug you because that is not the kind of man that I am. <laughs> Also, not the best with this accent either. <laughs> this is the worst Bill Cosby accent ever. <laughs> this one is number one. Oh, he's getting more racist. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Woo. Oh, man. Yeah, so this episode's called uh, uh, Do They Serve Jello in Hell? Okay, nice. Love it. Makes sense. Uh, 20 year old. Uh, OnlyFans creator, uh, Brittany Portillo, this dumb cunt, suffered a heart attack after trying the dry scooping challenge. Have you heard the dry scooping <sighs> challenge? So it's like the cinnamon challenge where you eat the, but it's before a workout, you eat a full spoonful of protein uh, powder? whey. Yeah, <laughs> of like whey oh, powder, no. protein powder. And then she tried to work out and uh, she had a heart attack, but lived. So, wow. I mean, that's so a you just she eat choked it on it? Like water. Uh, she gets it down, uh, but then she works out afterwards, and she had a heart attack because it's wow. like... How is that a challenge? Like, what does that even accomplish? She, she, had, a, she felt, had, had an itchy chest, uh, itchy and felt itchy and had chest pain. Oh, sorry. And then I wrote, sorry, guys. She's also a stripper. So uh, obviously, yeah. oh, okay. Brittany's a fucking genius. She probably does coke. Yeah, I just, and I eat spoonfuls that of coke. That was coke instead of whey. Right, I yeah. fuck up my jar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> my jars. Um, but I, Brittany, I strip. I only fans, and I, I'm not a stripper. I get, I churn butter. <laughs> <laughs> with my asshole. <laughs> I'm a fucking vegan butter. It's organic. And then she's at fucking Thanksgiving dinner with her family. Um, sweetie, can you pass the butter, please? Of course, Dad. Oh, he knows. I'm very disappointed with you. (laughs) (laughs) Where's my baseball bat? Meanwhile, history on his computer is all that link. Oh, it's just he's just Brittany's oh, wow. butter churn. <laughs> the butter churn challenge oh, 2021. Man. That's a new challenge. The churn yeah. challenge. Save, the churn, save challenge. the churn challenge. That will kids, be. kids, get a baseball bat uh, and Google it. Anyways, Google it, kids. Oh, wow. The churn. And, it's the Amish challenge. Yeah, it's the, the, the butter the churn butter and challenge. The butter churn and challenge. Oh wow. Uh, I'm allowed to make butt rape and butt stuff jokes because I suffer from anusitis, which is a butt ailment. It's strictly my fault from diet and shit, uh, and shit, literally. But I have to push my asshole back inside of me after I take a poop. Yeah, that's a thing. So, (laughs) enjoy all of that. And on that note... (laughs) I think we found a new uh, name for the, the episode. Um... 
Anusitis. Anusitis. <laughs> pushing it back in, hooping it, hooping dreams, hoops and dreams. Uh, no, I gotta. I have a descended anus. I gotta push my butthole back inside after I take a poop. I have to shower every time after I take a poop. So if I ever become famous and one of part of my rider is there needs to be a shower attached to wherever I'm I'm hanging out, my green room, gotcha. or whatever. What about a bidet? Yeah. Have you used a bidet? Before? I don't know. I've never tried it before. You might. That might I just use the tears of indigenous kids. <laughs> oh, 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 he's picked a theme and he's going with it, people. <laughs> Hi yo. Yes. Gotta keep it relevant. Yes. Oh, happy Canada Day, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Jesus Christ Almighty. I apologize to all the appropriate bodies. Listen, guys, we don't mean to offend anyone, but some people are only happy when they're offended. Uh, so I'm glad that I can make you guys happy for a little bit on Canada Day. Thanks so much for tuning in. Matt, <laughs> Brad, always a pleasure. Uh, rest in pieces. Love your work. Hate your fucking hours. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Uh, Say Talk Podcast, uh, and uh, thanks so much for listening. I uh, hope you guys are staying safe. Wear your masks. Super vax. Fuck your mother. Love your work. Hate your fucking hours. Peace, love, and good night. Peace. 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 Peace.